projects, something I learned, and this is part of working with people in other disciplines, I learned that all these statues that we see in the museums used to have color, but the color disappeared. So we're going to bring it back. You're going to go to the Nasher uh, for probably their anniversary or slightly after, and Nasher has outstanding uh, uh, sculptures, and you're going to have, it's already working, it's going to the final details, you're going to have a tablet on your hand, and it's going to be projecting culturally correct colors into those statues, so you can get the feeling of the people from that time, how they saw the statues. So we, are, we actually, a couple of weeks ago, uh, Caroline, that is the art historian, uh, basically brought an expert on the colors of that time, so we can project the historically correct patterns, or at least as far as our knowledge. But I have to say another thing, this was designed by Caroline and myself, and we were both very senior, but the actual class was given by a junior professor in art history and one of my postdocs. So they were the one, and all the students involved in the project were undergrads, graduates, and postdocs that are developing this app. We are just going to enjoy it. But it was really led by students and really junior faculty that also accepted our crazy idea somehow. And we actually demoed it last week to the new director of the Nasher, and I wish I could film her. I mean, we were scared that she's going to say, just go home. She was just, and we demoed just the demo with false colors and everything. And she was, again, another member of the Duke community. Yeah, let's do this. Let's just make it work. That was the response we got. So that's what's happening at Duke, I think. Another great example of in, you know, engineering involving, where well, the students did the coding, but you, it's a project you couldn't do with engineering alone without the connections that there were at Duke to art history and, and so on. So th another great success story. I think if there's a takeaway for, for, from all of this, it's that you know, we have representatives here of the old uh, taxonomy of engineering. We have electrical engineers and mechanical engineers and civil environmental engineers, but really the Duke engineer of the 21st centu century is the engineer that's making the world more sustainable, more secure, more healthful, and more joyful. Music